So I am very excited to go to this demo. Let's uh, see if it works. It's under development, but I am optimistic. So great. So uh, this will be available in the market next year. We're going to start taking um, beta signups uh, later this quarter. The sooner you sign up, the better your chance to get in. I encourage you to go to rubicon.newrelic.com to sign up for interest in the beta. Well, let me get started by just running a simple query on all of these events that we're collecting. I'm going to run queries on New Relic's own data about our customers. And uh, forgive the resolution on these screens. I'm going to just zoom this up a bit so it's a little easier to read. So one of the things we decided to do in building Rubicon was use a simple query language that was familiar. Um, if, you, if, you, if you know SQL, this will feel very comfortable for you. But it's, not, it's a custom query language that is designed for operating on billions of events where every query operates on a time period, a time window. So I'm going to just do for a very simple query to start, just to give you a sense of what's the basics. I'm going to just count the number of page view events that we've collected. And this is where we differ a bit from, um, from SQL. I'm going to do since seven days ago. Let's look in the last week and say, how many page views happened on my app? I don't know if you noticed, we, we just whipped through 13, 14 million events very, very quickly. I'll just kind of scroll on down and show. That was 130 milliseconds to look at all those events and count them. But you know, counting lots of events, that's not, nothing particularly unique or special. But when you get answers this quickly, you can modify your question in real time. So why don't I do that? Why don't I say, I don't want to count the events. I actually want to count the unique number of unique user attributes. So how many users logged into my site in the last seven days? 47,000. So blam, you know, you're, you're blasting through millions of events. You're getting instant answers. And when you get instant answers, the next question just comes to you. You don't have to, you know, if, if I had to wait a few days to get that answer, or a few hours even, I've lost my train of thought. But I'm still in this train of thought. So my next question is, well, how do they break out? How do those users break out? So I'm just going to put a facet on them. So let's say I'm going to notice that we have autocomplete to make all this a lot, a lot easier. So I'm going to facet on, why don't I start with operating system, the user agent OS. OK, that's how our users break out by operating system. Because we don't do any indexing, we're whipping through all these events in a massively powerful, uh, massively uh, parallel cluster. Um, we, we, you don't have to, in advance, index on any attribute. This will just happen no matter what I facet on. So I'll, I'll facet on country code. Just say, all right, how many people are using our app by country? OK, there's our breakout by country, right? This is just, and we automatically visualize it for you, which is really cool. Um, by the way, for those of you, which is pretty much everyone in the audience except for my mom, you also get the raw JSON. So if you just want to invoke this as a service and blast it into your own software, you're good to go. We're collecting this data for you already, by the way. We've been collecting it since June. You don't have to set anything up. Just log in, start writing some queries. I think you're going to be blown away. So um, let's just facet by something that's important to our business, our product. So how many, how do these people break out by product? So that's the seven-day usage of our customers by product. And, and we've got a variety of product levels, depending on whether you're a light customer on the free product. Or let's look at ProTrial. ProTrial basically correlates to all those people that have got t-shirts. Where APM product equals pro trial. And what if my marketing genius Patrick said, and I want to see the, how it's going outside of the US. So, and country code does not equal US. Oops. So we got 3,400 people on pro trials outside of the US. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm playing with clay here. I'm not playing with steel, where you know, you've got to design it all up front, and then you better have gotten it right. I've, I've got clay. I can mold it. So I'm going to mold it, and I'm going to say, well, the obvious question I ask myself next is, what's the, what's the trend of that? So I'll just put a time series on it. And let's look at it by hour for fun. And there's our hourly usage of non-US pro trial users all on a database in the cloud. It's pretty cool. <laughs> but let's say somebody who doesn't want to write NRQL or learn NRQL wants to see this data. Well, it's simple. You just add it to dashboards. I can add anything I've just done. Once I've gotten it right, I want to share it. You're going to share this. Let me bring this back to full screen. Um, 
So our dashboards are simply collections of queries, visualized the right way. For example, one of the things when I showed you that, um, that breakout by product, that's kind of similar to this query here. You can visualize them in different ways. Here's a pie chart of how many people are on our site right now. And if you notice, um, these, these things are going to update automatically if they're, if they're real-time queries. So for example, oh, let me show you my real-time, uh, my paid monthly active users. These are the monthly active users that are not on light, not on a pro trial. And uh, here, I'm not going to zoom in here because uh, these are company names, but these are the names of the companies that are on pro trial that have used our product in the, na in the last seven days, the most. So I can predict which of which our next customers are going to be looking at the data coming in my software. That's where I mean like the data coming in your software is transformative to your business. The answers are there. You just need to be able to query the data correctly and do it fast. And you'd like to, to be able to do it without installing a bunch of software and hardware to do it. That's what Rubicon's going to deliver. So I often look at my real-time dashboard to sort of say what's going on right now in the site. And so for example, we've got 3,000 people on the site right now, 246 pro trial users. And we're smart enough that if the query is something recent, like last couple minutes, then it's likely to change more often. So let's refresh the number. So we're just, you know, you just sort of type a query like what's going on right now and blam, it'll visualize your chart. So th this could be your dashboard for your marketing department. It could be your dashboard for your product management department. In fact, let's look at a product management use case. I mentioned that histograms percentiles are available today. The first thing that anybody who builds a new feature wants to know is, are people using it? So let's see what's going on with histograms and percentiles. 84 people are using that feature right now. 84 people right now. And if I, uh, I can zoom in and show how those users break out. Over the last 24 hours, I, I, you know, I fibbed a bit. We actually uh, launched this yesterday so that we, everything would be stable and I wouldn't be wondering whether it was going to work. So, um, Histograms and percentiles have been live for, for about a day, and over the course of that day, we see 4,500 people um, have used the product broken out by, or used use this feature broken out by their subscription level. So this dashboard took literally five minutes to construct. There was no new instrumentation required. It was just, let's just query the event data in a different way to solve a different business case. And I feel like there's just going to be this immense opportunity to do, solve all sorts of problems that you know, we haven't even imagined yet based on just being able to query your application in real time and get answers. I mean, you can, get the in, you can get the names of the users that were on your site when you had a production issue, and you can filter them by how much they spend, so you can send an email saying, you were on our site before we had a production issue, and I'd like to you know, give you um, some kind of um, tchotchke to for thank you for your patience. I mean, like, the, amount, the number of problems you're going to be able to solve with Rubicon is just kind of mind-blowing. And it'll integrate directly with, with any other software. If you can invoke HTTP and get JSON back, you've got the answer to these queries in real time. So have an eye out for Rubicon. I, I, I hope you share my excitement for it. I think it's going to be a game changer.